first drive-in opened in 1933 in New Jersey at the home of its creator, Richard M. Hollingshead. Throughout the 50s and 60s, drive-ins were extremely popular with couples with young families and were a great way for friends to get together. Although many drive-ins have since closed, some have remained open through thick and thin. But what is their future? I think you really have to look at the area that you're in. You do have to have a good base population. Regina is almost even a little bit too small. We could be busier out here. Well, they're not over. Your land values, that's one of the problems. Our, uh, our land value here in a smaller location isn't... You need a lot of land for where you are. Depending on the area, like we were in a great area, we've got a couple of resorts close by and there's numerous little towns with uh, uh, that don't offer a lot of entertainment in the summertime, so we don't have a great deal of competition. That helps a lot. And uh, I, I like to think that we show people a good time when they come here. But supposedly they're coming back. Now, whether that's right or not, I don't know. I don't notice it that much, but uh, maybe they will. But I don't think it's a thing of the past, no. I think it'll carry on. I don't think so. Like, it's the, the drive-in, usually it was bad when it was in the 50s and 60s. But when it comes to the new millennium now, I'm, I don't think so. No, I don't think there won't be a future for it. If the business they're doing here is any indication, I would think they would be. Uh, for the size of town we're in here, I'm sometimes surprised to see a full house. and. Uh, to me, that says uh, the business is healthy. I don't think drive-ins are a dying breed because it's a lot of fun to come here and this is something out of the ordinary. And as long as you keep popular movies coming, people will come back and see them. It's, it's a different experience. It's a lot of fun to watch them outside as opposed to in the theater that we always do. We've always had just a tiny sliver of the movie-going audience. And uh, we struggle in that little small percentage area and we get by quite nicely but it's a very delicate industry and the slightest wind and change in uh, demographics, change in movie going, uh, change in property taxes or the weather, in our case this year, could push you over if you're just a borderline operation. Well, I think in some places it's, it's probably hard, but here with the Pinery Park, I think they're ideal because the people bring the kids, they don't know any babysitters, so just pile them in the car and come out. In my opinion, and if it wasn't for the resorts around here, we'd, we'd have been shut down years ago. Because July, first half of August, are, are our best crowds. When the driving was sort of in its heyday, well, the speakers, as far as you can see back where there were speakers, they were filled and cars were filled. It's a lot of people, a lot of cars. But it hasn't been like that. As you can see, we've got, what, seven, seven rows on now? One, two, three, four, five rows, I guess now and uh, they, it hasn't been filled up this year yet. Nor last year, nor the year before. Well, maybe next year. Yeah, maybe next year always. <laughs> I'm like the farmers, maybe next year. <laughs> no. At the end of the season, we asked Alan, a longtime operator, how he felt. I think I'm just feeling my age. I mean, you, you start to look back sometimes more than you start looking forward in this industry, and that's, uh, I think, a deadly, crippling, uh, sort of way to go about any business. You start looking back at the good times and they're like, next summer there's gonna be more kids films. There's gonna be more action adventure, science fiction, romantic thrillers or something. People know us for what we are, you know, for a family environment. So if we stick to the base with family films, we're doing pretty good. Oh, I think there'll always be drive-ins. A fellow drive-in owner in Buffalo said that as long as there's sunsets, there'll be drive-ins. Yeah, I thought that was quite uh, nice saying. <laughs>